Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. We'll just let them wind chimes do what they do. So what I got going on out here is my family is pretty good size. I got three kids. One of them is driving now and the other one is about to get her license. So we're having two extra vehicles out here. <laughs> and my driveway is not big. I'm making it 14 foot wider. Uh, the length obviously is not going to change. By adding 14 feet width, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get about 60% more driveway, roughly. So this right here is the patio crate myrtles, what they call it. And uh, I don't think I can get another one. So I definitely want to save it. Right now is a good time to move it when it's completely dormant. As spring comes along, uh, it should start to root back and start to grow and put out leaves and all that good stuff. Uh, I've done this in the past and sometimes it takes about a year for them to really uh, take hold and, and get going real good. So if you happen to move a small tree like this and you don't get that instant gratification out of it, it's okay because sometimes it just takes a little longer for it to you know bite and take root and, and get going now my jap maple right here is quite a bit bigger i ain't gonna lie to you i'm i'm a little bit spooked on this one just because it's a little bit bigger but it's got to be moved there's nothing i can do about it so i'm gonna move it the best of my ability and we'll just see what happens uh honestly not sure where i'm gonna move it i would like to put it over here somewhere and I'm I would like to put it over here somewhere uh, just so I can look at it through my kitchen window I kind of yeah it's kind of my little pet peeve about this tree so I may end up moving it right out here somewhere so it won't have to move far so we'll see about that uh, the liriope uh, dude this stuff is as hardcore as it gets you can't hardly kill it so i could dig it up now and plant it three months from now and it still be fine so that's not going to be an issue one thing i do have i've got an irrigation head right here that's going to have to be moved that way and then i also have a water spigot that feeds off my whale that's going to be moved that way so i'm going to be out here with a bin track moving around and cutting and sod cutting and digging and all that so i'm gonna go get some flags and i'm gonna flag these two things because they're pretty important i just don't want to run over them and hit them and tear it up even though i'm gonna move it so i need a visual aid so i'm gonna flag this stuff so i'm gonna kind of talk you through the process right quick and then uh, i'm gonna get out here and do the work because it's, it's really difficult trying to film stop talk work stop talk film work all that stuff so i'll talk you through what i'm gonna do then we'll time lapse the whole thing and then I'll tell you bye. So I got the sod cutter with me today. I'm gonna cut this up, load it on the trailer. We'll rake up all the pine needles, get them up, dig up all the small plants, move them out of the way. I've got a lot of really good topsoil in this bedded area right here. I'm gonna scoop it out lay it over there to the side because i'll reuse that then tomorrow after church i'll come out here and probably move the irrigation stuff over but that i don't have time to get it all done today so let's get with it
right, so I just took my first load back to the shop, unloaded it, and uh, ugh, that sod cutter does not like wet ground, that's for sure. I got just a little bit of grass here and there. I actually grabbed a power rake while I was there. So I need something to skim. Okay, I'm not trying to dig. I don't. I could take the bucket and dig this out, but I don't want unevenness. I want. I'm just trying to skim. Come here. Come here. Come here. You'd be a superstar. Superstar. What's up, dog? Um, I don't want to dig. I just want to skim the grass off. You know, get some of the root system, like you would, like a side cutter. But the side cutter just didn't work. So we use the power rake, clean it up, then we'll get the plants dug up. See you, buddy. So this part's pretty important. I want to move things uh, over so that they're, they look like they did before I moved them, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna actually use this video to come back and check my measurements. So the crate myrtle's 105 off of the driveway. It's 12 feet off of the road. My water spigot right here is 16 foot on the center off of the road. M102 off of the driveway. Mailbox is two feet off the road, five feet off the driveway. My first little right here is two feet off the road, two feet off the driveway. They should be three foot apart. They're three foot apart. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get a lawnmower and go ahead and mow these down before I move them. I think that'll save me some work in the future. So that's about all I got time for uh, today. I think I'm gonna take my daughter out on a date tonight, a little daddy-daughter thing. The next video, we'll move that tree. I'm actually gonna take the power rake and, uh, well, I need to dry out a little bit. It's still really wet. I'm gonna try to do this tomorrow after church. Hopefully it dries up a little bit. But this section right here where the driveway is gonna be, I'm gonna power rake it really deep and try to get that dirt cut over to where the new bed is going to be so I can, you know, reuse it. Uh, it's a lot of good topsoil in these beds that I brought in when I originally done all this. Uh, I don't want to waste it. 
plus it might make my end bill a little bit cheaper with the concrete guy because he quoted digging all this out because you know they the, the concrete's going to be four inches and I think he said he's going to put two inches of rock under it so that's six inches deep he's got to dig down so if I can do some of the digging and move it over there maybe he'll cut me a little break I don't know well there you go uh, I'm whipped <laughs> it, it takes a little bit to get your stamina built back up after you've been sitting on the couch all winter as always I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch I'll check you later